specialness is really the belief in preferences, it's the belief in hierarchy of illusions, it's the belief that what is one can be fragmented into many parts and put on a timeline and arranged in hierarchies. So it, you could say that special relationships could, could be defined in terms of food, climate, clothing, fashions. It could, you could give a whole gamut of, of uh, examples of special relationship. But when we talk about interpersonal relationships, which is really the, the symbol that he's speaking about in those nine chapters, he's speaking about trying to take carve out of unity, out of the whole tapestry of the cosmos, to pull one body and say, ah, this one I love more than any of the rest. And in this world, that seems like a natural attempt, but there's nothing natural about it, to value one body over another, one person over another. So that mechanism of special relationships was made by the ego, and we could say is the ego, and the spirit is about undoing every aspect of this false self-concept. So it will in the end mean emptying the mind of all thoughts of young and old, male and female, masculine and feminine, uh, this idea that, that there are separate people of all the beliefs and communication between bodies, in the end, that all dissolves and collapses into divine communion uh, between the God and, and Christ, or the Father and the Son, or between the Creator and creation, whatever terms you'd like to use. That's where it's all collapsing into. That's where it's all dissolving into, is, is just a remembrance of God's love. <laughs>